Do you think this is a travel? Watch the replay and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to break it down, but I want to see your thoughts because it's going to affect the way the game is called and the way we play. So let's start by looking at the NBA rules. I think we've all heard how James Harden, LeBron James, and Giannis get away with traveling like crazy, but according to NBA refs, they don't travel. So let's look at the official NBA website and their rules posted there. It says a player who gathers the ball while dribbling may take two steps in coming to a stop, passing, or shooting the ball. So to most people, what that would look like is this right here. Gather the basket basketball one two steps but here's where things get kind of tricky it says the first step occurs when a foot or both feet touch the floor after gaining control of the ball key point after gaining control of the ball so what that means is that this step would not count because it was before control of the basketball was gained take a look again and that step right there is what a lot of people are now calling the zero step or the gather step. And another thing that I'll throw people off is what players do with the basketball during that gather step or even on that first step. So if you do a little pump fake, a pass fake, or whatever else, it doesn't really matter. It's all about when control of the basketball was gained and then you get two steps. Now here's another area where people get confused about how steps count. Technically here that dribble is still alive and steps don't count. It's not till here that the steps would start counting. Here's another example. Right now, the basketball is floating in that dribble hand, so it's not counted as a gather. And even still here, steps wouldn't quite count. And the reason for this rule is pretty simple. You could continue that dribble, so the refs can't start counting your steps until they know that dribble has been picked up. And to clarify one thing, you can literally do anything with your feet while you are dribbling the basketball and take as many steps as you want, as long as it's a live legal dribble. Which also means you can't just palm the ball and run across the court. That would be a palming violation and is not a live legal dribble. So there's two things you can look for to know when the steps should count according to NBA rules. It's either when both hands come onto the basketball or the hand that's dribbling comes under the basketball. So these next few examples, even though you might think they look illegal, according to NBA rules are not illegal. But that brings us to a very important point. You're not in the NBA, probably. If you are, drop a comment and say, hey, what's up? But for the rest of us that aren't playing in the NBA, you've got to keep in mind your league. So the first thing you could do is get feedback from refs in your league to find out how they're going to call things. And I think you'll find more often than not, they're just going to go on the eye test. Does it look like a clean one, two steps? Because refs in most leagues aren't going to give you that gather or zero step, especially if it's very obvious. If you maybe had just barely picked up the basketball on that zero step, you might get away with it. And they might start counting your steps already, even if your hand's in a live legal dribble position. Second thing you'll want to do is track down your your league's rule book if they have one. But in a lot of youth leagues, there's not gonna be much of a rule book. It's just going to simply be what most people agree on being the rules, which is you get two steps. And all that zero step and live legal dribble business, again, probably won't matter. And the third big thing you have to know is do not be the dude in pickup games arguing about the rules. There's nothing more annoying than going to play pickup basketball and people just arguing about the rules. Now, if you wanna show them this video to give them the NBA explanation, that's great. But keep in mind the way the most players were taught as kids and the way that most leagues are calling it is going to be a simple one two step now if you want to see a further breakdown of james harden's step back that a lot of people think to travel click this video here and if you want to see a breakdown of what's considered a carry or not watch this video here subscribe and turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos and i'll see you in one of those videos next